I, I think we've definitely established ourselves as one of the premium red wine producers in the state. Um, the way our vineyard is set up right now, um, next year the last acreage will come in production and it will be 50% white and 50% red, which shows the commitment to producing red wines in the state of Michigan. Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Pinot Noir, undoubtedly most popular. Um, Chardonnay, Kabutstraminer, very popular wines. I can't really pick a favorite. The wines that I prefer to make is the unfiltered or artisan series wines. Uh, those are more serious wines which I basically just I'm showcasing what could be done with those varietals in the state. We're set up for 5,200 cases and um, we're producing between 4,500 and 4,800. Well, I'm the winemaker and estate manager, so uh, vineyard, obviously big responsibility, making the wine, then I also do marketing, uh, which in the slow times is a big part of uh, what I do here. I mean, there's, once barling is done, things like that, you know, it's summer, um, we really, it's important to show my face out there so people become familiar with your, uh, your wines. I grew up on a farm in South Africa, Western Cape. Um, we, our farm was about 160 acres and uh, about half of that was grapes. So, um, Colombard, Chenin Blanc, Muscat Alexandri, which is used for fortified. Uh, those were the main varietals. Um, then I actually went to a technical school. so completely different from agriculture and um, got a, uh, a kind of like, it's called like a semi-bachelor's degree in um, boiler making. So um, then I actually was on my way to go to the Air Force and uh, got a position or a, an opportunity to m make wine or help at a winery for harvest. Did that for three months and then um, decided that, you know, this is what I want to do. So they offered me a permanent position and uh, uh, sent me to college, got my degree um, through the winery, and then um, spent the next eight years making wine in South Africa um, before I came over to the US in 2003. Uh, what they call internship through, um, basically it's Ohio State University that puts everything together for you. And did my internship at uh, Chateau Chantal. So 18 months internship, then uh, became co winemaker. Um, so it's all in all, it was four years at Chateau Chantal before I came to Price. We are, I think, one of only five wineries in the Midwest that's 100% a state current. The reason we decided to make that switch is we're a boutique style winery. 90% um, of winemaking for me is what I do out in the vineyard. So um, it's important that I'm in control of all the aspects. And since 90% of winemaking is, is the grapes you grow. I want to be in control of that. Um, and it raised the bar on quality for